always make sure you're wearing gloves. We never know what can be in the sample. It's always best to take proper precautions and use the correct personal protective equipment. So firstly, you must have two slides, a spreader slide and a slide for the actual smear. It is imperative that both slides are free from grease and clean. You will also need some blood that has anticoagulants in it, such as lithep or EDTA, and a pipette. Gently agitate your blood sample to adequately mix the red blood cells and serum together. Then remove a very small sample using the pipette and apply a small drop of blood to the end of your slide. We then use the spreader at a 45 degree angle to the drop of blood. We push the spreader up to the spot, allow a line to develop across the spreader and then in a smooth motion pull the spreader away from the line to cause or to perform the actual smear. The smear should be one level of red blood cells thick and you should have adequate feathering towards the end. You shouldn't be able to see any streaks or holes. This can indicate that you're too wobbly in your technique or you're applying too much pressure to the slide. The slide is dried quickly using air so that we can adequately fix it and then stain the slide using DiffQuick. We are then able to perform a blood smear examination under the microscope. We're now going to use the fixer and again a very important reason for using PPE. These are chemicals so ensure that your slide is adequately dried prior to fixing. Avoid the use of a hairdryer. This can damage the red blood cells. Dip the slide in. Ensure that it is adequately covered in the fixative. We generally do five to ten dips. Again, we go on to the second stain which contains eosin. Certain parts of the white blood cells will take up this particular stain and help differentiate between nucleus and cytoplasm. Tap off your excess. And then dip in to the third stain. Again, ensuring that all of the sample has been adequately covered. Now we can go through with the rinsing process. We gently dip the slide into the water to remove excess stain. And you can see that your blood smear will have stained up quite nicely. We then have to allow the slide to dry prior to looking under the microscope at the sample.